Our bait demo for this week is a grunter trace, uh, basically using sea lass. I'm sticking to more natural baits for this uh, episode. What I'm utilizing is 16 kilo Kingfisher leader line. It's softer, it's supple, it's clear. A little bit of latex cotton. Power swivel combo. It's a five by six. It's the smallest one that you can get. I'm using the Ring Sui 4.0 and basically this trace is a long distance casting trace. I'm using a little bait clip. Okay, to start off. This is nylon. Figure of eight. And what I'm going to do is just put a little wishbone in using a little bit heavier nylon. Um, I'm just going to grab some 19 kilo. And what we do is we just take that little piece of nylon, it's just a little bit thicker, and just slide this down, slide it down, slide it down like that. Pull the knot tight, as you can see. Just neaten off all the tag ends here. Okay. So pretty much a little piece of wishbone, a bit of nylon. What that does is when I'm throwing, prevents the sea lass from actually falling down the hook when you're actually throwing under pressure. Okay, gonna make it about a meter in length because I need a lot of movement, especially for the grunter. And you're looking for sand banks that are quite far out. Um, you're also looking for that rolling white water where the grunter or stumpies would be feeding, um, preferably with a deep channel behind it. Okay, first part. Again, I'm just gonna tie with a figure of eight. A knot, two, three. Pull that tight, just cut off the tag end. <coughs> Sinker trace can be exactly the same breaking strain. <coughs> Checking the length of it, just so I can get the length right for the sinker. That is what the trace looks like at the end. I just want to show you quickly. Just want to make sure the length is right for casting and that is perfect for me. Okay, there we go. Okay, now what I'm going to do <clears throat> to actually put this on is very simple. Open the scoop over there. Take the hook and you insert it through that little black part over the other scoop. So what we do is we just stick it in and we slide him all the way. Sorry, I went a bit skewed there. There we go. And you pull it up, slide him back, so he actually sits like that. And we're just going to utilize a little bit of cotton. 
in the back area. What it does is it actually locks that little um, wishbone in, that piece of nylon in. So that's all I'm doing, just going around it like this, locking that part in, and that is pretty much the end of it. So that is it there. You can, if you want to, to get a bit more smell out, is take off the actual shell in that. But what happens is, you get a lot of those little peckers and that coming around and actually eating it. So, you can, if there's a lot of peckers around, I'd suggest you don't do it at all. And we'll just take our sinker, preferably a cone sinker, because it uh, sits nicely in the sand. And that'll hook on there like that. That'll be there. And there is a bait that you can throw quite hard and far and this will not push up your bait. So when it lands, it's going to sit there on the, the water, roll around in the current and any grunter that there is, or stumpy or pompano, will come along and eat that. But that's basically what you're trying to achieve guys. Hook is nice and proud, any fish that comes along you're going to hook.